Hello everyone, my name is Roberto. I'm an engineer at Flyability. We are a young spin-off from GFL, which is dedicated to building the next generation of inset inspired flying rockets. Let me start with this. So picture this. We are in Fukushima in March 2011, you all remember this. After the tsunami hit the coast, people were in desperate need to gather some information, especially near the nuclear power plant. But the level of radiation here is just too high for people to get in there. Humans can just can't access this place. So at the time, robots were the best option to get there. So you need to get there. The other thing which should be in the vessel to gather information such as level of radiation uh, or just to figure out what happened. So how to do it? Well, you send ground robots, right? Yes, but they get easily stuck against God. How about flying robots? But it's just too hard to get in there without hitting anything. And the collision <coughs> means losing the drone. It just there currently there does not exist anymore right? the technology that all those safe access to this kind of platform plays. But what to do? Do we stop here? We need to get closer. We need to get closer. And that is why we developed Gimbal. Gimbal is a game-changing innovation in the game in the world of robots. Thanks to the rotating protective frame, it always remains stable even after collision. It means that it can just bump into things and continue flying after. This capability gives it us access to any kind of capital environment, no other robot can go. And it's also easy to pilot, it has an uh, onboard camera and sensors, which is like having a second pair of eyes. And also, it can roll on the floor out of the flying, and it's... It's really great, huh? <laughs> <laughs> And thanks to the protective frame, it is also completely safe to fly close to humans. And it's quite novelty for, uh, for flying robots. And we've seen a completely new kind of interaction. Have you ever cheered with the flying drone on the television? <laughs> this proximity opens up a whole new world of application. Our first priority is an industrial inspection, in which Gimbal can help the inspection workers to access very difficult places, like cranes, as you can see, on bridges or uh, power plants. And it can save downtime, it can reduce downtime, it can save costs and risk for work. This is happening now. We are working with the biggest names in energy production and infrastructure worldwide. And this is only the beginning before spreading the capabilities of Gimbal to entertainment, domotics, uh, security, and rescue department. Now, I know what you're thinking like. Okay, you've talked a lot, but can we see it? And let's <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.